Hi everybody, Laura here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm actually super excited to show you some things today from my vintage pieces that I have. I think sometimes we forget about how much fun vintage pieces can be. And a lot of times these pieces um, are actually better made, more well-made than some of the latter pieces. Um, and that's the jewelry, handbags, clothing, whatever. Um, so I kind of went through, um, there were some bags that I was considering getting rid of, but now that I've kind of taken a second look at them, um, I appreciate them a little bit more. Um, so I wanted to share those with you today because I think we're so busy looking for the latest, greatest thing and what bags in right now and which one to get and brand new. And we just forget that sometimes there's some really cool bags from handbags past. So the first one I wanted to show you guys is from Fendi. And this is a bag that I fell in love with in a resale boutique. Um, didn't even know anything about the bag. Um, bought it, um, did some research, and later found out what it was. And so I actually purchased a, a second bag in the same, same design, just different color. Now, I was recently considering getting rid of one of the bags. But now that I've kind of looked at them again, um, I've kind of appreciated and kind of fallen back in love with them again. So, and that is the Fendi Celeria Via Borghese Tote. And these totes were around the early 2000s. I believe they may have started the, them actually in the late 1990s. But this one is about a 2004, 2006. Um, they did these bags in a somewhat of a like a tribute to the Romans who would ride in on their horses. As you can see, there is a horse on here. They would ride into their horses in the Via Borghese um, town in Italy. And so they did these in an incredible um, saddle leather. It's just, I love the hand tooling. They are all handcrafted. Um, gorgeous pieces i think i love the detail on it i love the buckle i love everything about it it does have a shoulder strap with it as well so you can carry it as a shoulder bag which as you know i always love um, great size to carry your items in and i also got this one in a kind of like a silver yeah it's a silver gray color Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bags. I really do love these. And I, I was actually considering selling this. And um, right now, I don't think I'm going to. I actually have a, a better appreciation for these now that I've dug them out and looked at all the fine detailing on these. I think they're really cool, cool bags. Celery is not as popular. Um, there weren't a whole lot of them made, so you won't see a ton of them on the market, but you will find some. Like I said, now that I've, you know, brought these back out, I think I'm going to hang on to these. I really do love this. The other bag that I have is, this is, it's so cute. This actually has a nice little story to it. This is um, the Dior, Diorissimo, in their Romantique. And this was back um, when John Galliano was designing for the house. So this one's probably um, early 2000s, 2006, maybe. Um, very cute bag. I actually found this bag in a, a very small little boutique in Nice, France. Saw it sitting there, fell in love with it, um, bought it, and I've never really used it, but I just think it's such a cute bag. And again, John Galliano, 
love him, hate him, but you know what? I think he did a really fabulous job in his designs for Dior. I really do. I just love it. So again, I was kind of on the fence with this one. I was like, oh, should I keep it? Should I not? But you know what? I think I'm going to keep it, especially since I drug it all the way from France. Um, I think I'm going to hang on to this one. But really, really kind of cute, I think. And um, <laughs> the next one is kind of a, um, it, it's a unique bag. I'll give it that. Probably 19... 50s, maybe 60s. And this is from the, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, the Dalil, Dalil um, for Sheriff. And this bag is so, I know it looks so 1950s, 60s. I get it. I get it. But if you look at the design on this, it is really kind of cool. Very like um, India, um, Arabia. It's just a really neat bag. Um, there was an insert in it, like a giant coin purse in the middle. But I, I took it out so I could use this bag more functionally. But it's actually just a really, a really cool, fun bag. Um, I think I paid, I think I paid like 200 bucks for this. Um, but it's just it's just neat it's just very unique i mean how often are you going to see someone walking down the street carrying this bag seriously i mean it's just neat and i think we we just forget um to have fun and play around with whether it be our clothes our shoes our jewelry our handbags um it's okay to to i guess go back in time and play dress up you know, like we used to. And, you know, we'd put our mom's shoes on and carry her purses. And I just think it's fun to play and do things and to buy things that you like um, and that you're attracted to. If you're attracted to it, buy it. If it makes you happy, brings you joy, buy it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, you could say, well, I find that bag very, you know, not very attractive. Everybody has what they're attracted to. That's why I say go and just have fun. You know, um, don't, you don't need to empty the bank, but you know, just there's things you can find that are not really expensive on, you know, vintage um, shops and resale boutiques and online, you know, um, you know, Poshmark has a lot of them, Mercari does. I mean, if you just start searching, you'll find some really cool bags. The last bag I want to show you is actually, uh, it's not the first. I, it was actually the third. Um, I, I don't have the first two I bought anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. But this one, um, I was a Gucci girl when I first started. When I got interested in anything designer, all I knew about was Gucci. That was that was it. That's all I'd ever heard of. So um, I went and I bought, this is my Gucci bag. And this was back when Gucci was still sold in department stores. This was back when it was like, was it Diamonds or Diller? It, they were still inside um, the store. There still was a Gucci counter in there way back when. Um, yeah, that's how old I am. But this bag, I, I wanted so bad, so bad. And I got it and I actually did use it, um, a lot. I really did. It's, it's the canvas, but I, I love this bag. I, I contemplated selling it, but you know what? Um, I got rid of the other two. I had a black clutch and a white top handle, um, but I didn't store them properly and they just started falling apart. So I just gave them away. Um, but this one, I have been more careful and not um, enclosing it in any kind of bag. I let it breathe. I keep it out of the sun. I keep it in a, not a too hot or too warm of a temperature. 
Um, so I'm gonna hold on to this one, I think. I think it's really neat. And this one was, oh my gosh, I was, uh, this had to be 30, 30 years ago at least. Um, so, but yeah, this was like my, this was my pride and joy. I mean, I just really love this. And these now don't go for a whole lot of money, which is why it's like, why sell it? If I'm only going to get, you know, a few hundred bucks for it or something. So I think this is really the iconic Gucci look. This is, this is Gucci. Um, so, you know, you can, you can buy bags like this right now online, guys. It's just, it's neat. I don't know. It's fun. Um, same with jewelry. I've gotten a few pieces of jewelry online. Um, I just, I don't know why, but I love this. I love this bracelet. It is a, it's a Brighton and it's just, I don't know. It's just cool. I just like it. I like the design on it. It's very, um, Constantino looking to me without paying Constantino price, but this I bought online, I think, oh, $70 or something like that. But it's a vintage um, Brighton piece. And don't knock Brighton because they, you know, they make good stuff too. And the other piece I got, which is um, sad that even, you know, not that long ago, that things are vintage now. But um, I, <laughs> I have not worn this yet, but I fell in love with this. And this is a Tory Burch tortoise it's a faux tortoise of course but it is a necklace and again i just totally fell in love with this piece bought it these are really rare um i also have the matching shoes that go with this which again i haven't worn but i just totally love them and i bought them i'm waiting i'm waiting for that special occasion to wear them but this i think is just it's fun it's it's fun and, um, you know, you can buy really, really older pieces as well. Um, you know, like this piece goes back to like 19, I believe this is like a 19, maybe forties, fifties piece that I got. I still have my, um, this belonged to my great, great grandmother and it's, it is just, let me show you that. It, I mean, it is just like, it's a pot metal piece. It's nothing like super duper, you know, it's just rhinestones. But it's, it's fun to have these little pieces because it really, I think, adds some, you know, some zhuzh, some spice to whatever you're, you're wearing. Um, but, you know, again, just a reminder to just play and have fun. Um, go looking for things that you, you know, may not always be looking for. Um, I know some people are completely like, I will, I would never buy anything pre-owned, whether it's a purse, jewelry, anything. Okay, that's fine. Um, you know, everybody does their own thing. But I think when we're trying to talk about sustainability and breathing new life into old pieces and giving old things a new home, I think it's really important to do that as well. Um, and again, you can find things at decent prices and really cool stuff, I think. So um, I just wanted to share some of that with you and just to, um, you know, remind you that um, vintage is okay. Pre-loved is okay. Pre whatever you want to call it. I think it's really um, fun to vintage shop sometimes and to add some, uh, some spice to your collections rather than just the same, you know, new, 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 new stuff. So, and it's pieces probably other people don't have. So, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I was really excited to share it with you. So don't forget to shop your pre-loved and, um, don't forget to like, and subscribe guys. I greatly appreciate everybody who has so far. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.